Hi all, in this video we will be seeing about how to send bulk emails with different attachment using Microsoft tools. So I will be using uh, Microsoft uh, Power Automate Desktop which is a free tool which I uh, will be using it to streamline my workflow. Uh, apart from that I will be using Excel where I will put uh, where uh, it stores the dynamic data such as email, name and the, the path. Uh, where the files are stored or the uh, file to the path itself sorry the file itself uh, and outlook uh, to send the email so let's start here i have uh, the dynamic data over here which is the name email and the attachment it has the path followed by the file file name with the extension you can see that for each uh, person the it sends a different file so let me close this i'll open power automate and i'll click new flow and i'll type bulk emailer So my first step would be to open uh, Excel. I'll click launch Excel. So I need to open uh, a document uh, which is here. Let me uh, copy this part and I'll click open following document and I'll type uh, sorry and uh, the path and I'll select the Excel file so as a first step it will open Excel with this document the CSV file and I need to read the contents of this file so I'll be using read from Excel so I need to read a range of cell so let me select range of cells and let me open the excel file again I need to read the range of cells from uh, which is starting from A2 uh, you can see A2 to C11 so I need to fill in the A2 to C11 over here so that it can read the data from between that so starting column is A and the row is 2, end uh, column is C, and end row is 11th row. So it will read from, A, read from A2 to C11. So let me save this. So, and um, next is we have to open uh, Outlook. So let me search for Outlook. And I'll click Launch Outlook. So it will open under this flow variable instance let me save so we have created uh, three steps now so what happens is the excel data will contain all the data from a2 to uh, c11 what we need is like uh, we need to read the data separately for example first we need to read this data and then uh, send an email to this person with this attachment then uh, second person with this attachment for that it's uh, we have to create a loop so that it will read from first second third fourth and so on until the tenth value so let me open uh, let me uh, search for for uh, loop for each loop i'll just paste it uh, copy and uh, i'll just drag and uh, drop it over here so the value to iterate is this one which is the excel data i'll select excel data so it will uh, iterate the values in excel data and it will store in current item so what it happens is current item will store an array of items so what happens is so in the first iteration it will uh, the current current item will store this value the name 
uh, email address and attachment. In the second iteration, it will store this value. In the third iteration, it will store this value. In the fourth iteration, this value and so on. So let me uh, uh, close Excel. I'll click don't save. So here um, uh, it will read all the data like this. So uh, we need to split this current item into three because it shows uh, each current item stores three values the name email address and uh, the um, path so we ha we can create three variables variable first variable will be the name which is current item of which is in the first uh, column so I'll put the index as 0 the second variable is uh, email current item of 1 and third is the path with the file name and the extension so I'll uh, put file path so I'll put current item and which is in the third uh, column so I'll put index as 2 and I'll save so uh, it will iterate uh the first row second row third row and uh, so on and automatically these values will be assigned so as these values are assigned it needs to send an email also so i'll open outlook send email i'll create a flow i'll put at the last so here uh, i need to fill in all these details so the two let me start off with this two so two is the email address to whom we need to send the email so let me select email and the subject i'll put as invoice and body uh, we can either use html or we can use the normal one so i'll use the normal one so i'll type hi followed by the person's name so we just saved under name I'll put and I'll type please find your invoice and we have to attach uh, the attachments also the invoice file so which is saved in the path so I'll select uh, the variable and I'll click on the file path so it will automatically select the email address the name and the file uh, along with the file so i'll type my account also account is from which email address uh, the mail should be uh, going so let me type in my mail address and let me save so here we have uh, Defined, uh, defined everything over here so uh, let's start so once we click on run the process should start it will open excel so we have uh, we have got an error message that's okay because that's because the excel is already opened so let me open taskbar and uh, i'll close excel Okay, it's okay now let me run again excel is open it's opening outlook also and it's sending in the emails you can see that it's rep it will repeat 10 times
so the last value uh, because this has iterated 10 times so the last value will be stored uh, you can see the last uh, this three values will be displayed over here the email address the name and the path if you open outlook you should be able to see it in the in outbox so this is how you send the bulk emails with different attachment uh, so hope uh, it's useful thank you